Hey there everyone, this is Danielle with some first thoughts on Axiom Verge. Uh, as you can see this game's been out for a while, or at least that was first released in 2015. Axiom Verge 2 is on the brink of arriving, and I've never played this, so I thought I'd uh, get ready by checking out the first one. Uh, this game is a Metroidvania, uh, which is basically it's a type of action platformer where you have to explore a big, a, a really big world and find upgrades to help you get the different parts of it, essentially. Uh, I've played a couple of Metroidvanias on this channel before. I really liked Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Uh, I really loved Metroid Dread. I didn't love Lost Ruins quite as much. Uh, that was uncomfortably horny. Hopefully this one won't be like that. Uh, from this title screen, I'm getting Super Metroid vibes. It's a very similar sort of pixel art style. Uh, I'm going to be playing with this uh, Pro Controller. I have looked at the options a little already. It looks like it's very uh, capable of playing with one of these controllers, as you can see. Uh, you can pick what icons you get. It's set to, I've set it to the right set for what I'm doing. Uh, you've got a couple different options. You can mess with the window scaling and stuff. Uh, I've got uh, strobe reduction on, uh, so hopefully there won't be any photosensitivity problems. Ah, uh, the audio, just volume stuff. This one's off by default, I don't know what this one does. Uh, like I assume it's a metallic ping sound, but I don't know why it would be off by default. Unless it's something that is just real bad? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, I've never played this game. I'm getting good vibes from the title screen here because it has options for randomizer. Uh, if you're familiar with this style of game, uh, you may know, you know, you use upgrades to get further and get to new places and stuff. It makes Metroid games very amenable to randomization, where you shuffle all the items around and play them in a different order, potentially. Uh, and the fact that this is just built into the game, it's very promising. Like, it shows that uh, Thomas Happ, I suppose, is sort of on, on the ball in terms of what makes Metroid so good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what character you play as in this game. Uh, like, in Metroid you play as Samus, uh, Samus Aran, who is a cute girl, and in Bloodstained Control of the Night uh, you also play as the cute girl. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping the same is true here. <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of a staple of the genre. Uh, Time Spinner was like that too. Lost Ruins sort of, but also it's, 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 it's weird. Okay, anyway let's start Axiom Verge, which I've never played, and see how it goes. <laughs> uh, okay, that character might be a cute girl. I don't know if that's the character you play as. Uh, you can choose normal or hard, apparently. We're gonna go normal. New Mexico, 2005. This is definitely giving me Super Metroid vibes. Uh, both in terms of the pixel art and, like, the, the style. Trace, it's charged and ready. Thanks, Hammond. Starting the pulse now. Only I mean, it would work this time. We've got an oscilloscope. Weird. The beam look was completely distorted. Grace, there's a problem. Well, what's that sound? As the building collapsed on top of me, I knew it was all over. My life, my goals, all fruitless. This was truly the end. If I'd simply died and stayed that way, well, let's just say everything would have been a lot different. Yeah, extremely Metroid vibes here. Uh, which is interesting. Some of the others I've played were a lot more like Castlevania. Bloodstained was, like, from Castlevania devs and had a similar vibe. Uh, Time Spinner wasn't from Castlevania devs, but it had the same inspirations. Uh, Lost Ruins also had Castlevania elements. This is looking a lot more Metroid than Castlevania, so we'll see how we go. Trace. Wake up, Trace. Ugh, what happened? Trace, there is gun in the next room. You must get it. Wait, 
What's going on? Where are you? Hello? Where am I? Okay, uh, up to save? Oh, I see, I can press up in this thing. Game saved. Uh, I can jump. I can do nothing else so far. Oh, if I hold, if I hold the L button, I get a little lock in the top corner? Oh, I see. It makes it so I can't move, I can just turn around. I suppose that might be useful in some cases. Oh, it locks your position as you jump as well. That's interesting. Uh, I can't go that way. Uh, these, like, blobs are in the way, so I guess I have to go this way first. I read any of that. Axiom Disruptor. High-tech biomechanoid weapon. Use Y button. Lock position with L. Is the gun that lady mentioned? Or did I just imagine that? Sorry, I am very weak. You must go now before he finds you. Before who finds me? What's going on? I guess she's gone again. Okay, so... Oh! Metroid can crawl in this game. <laughs> I'm being silly. There's um, there's a meme that uh, Samus, uh, because sh she has to use a morph ball form to roll around rather than crawling. Uh, because in the original Metroid they didn't want to animate crawling, they made her morph into a ball instead. So there's like a meme that says, "Why can't Metroid crawl?" Because the name of the game is Metroid, even though the character's not called Metroid. <laughs> Okay, so I can shoot my way through this stuff now. Yeah, if I lock my position... Oh, I can aim in all the different directions without moving around. Right. So it's for aiming diagonally and stuff like that. The music's very nice. Uh, you can see a little mini-map in the top right corner there. I don't think my face is covering anything important. I that's an enemy. I'm extremely getting Metroid vibes from this. Uh, unlike some of the other games I've played that are, you know, Metroidvanias, it's definitely taken more inspiration from Metroid than from Castlevania. Oh, that's interesting. If you shoot away all the platforms they're standing on, they just sort of twirl around. I guess that's by design? A bit strange, though. I'm guessing the little red thing in the top left is my health. Uh, in Metroid it's called energy and you have like a number rather than a bar, but... I'm guessing it will work more or less the same way. I'll just need to wait till I get some more estrogen tanks. Energy tanks. <laughs> uh, can I shoot that? No. Uh, try going this way? Ow. Yeah, that's health. If I shoot these guys, do they have... They drop health? Ow. I haven't seen any health pick up yet. Uh, in, you know, Metroid, when you shoot stuff, it usually drops health. Which is very helpful. Are these little red things are health pickups? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. Uh, that looks a bit more threatening than things I've seen so far. I like that shooting stuff makes it go sort of, uh, staticky. I need effects. Oh, jeez. Health got real low there. That was scary. Uh, I think I can go that way yet. Do I need a new weapon or something? Some sort of upgrade that can clear that. I'm guessing there's a lot of secrets I can't actually get into yet. That would be the standard for this kind of game.
Interestingly, holding the button does not keep you firing, uh, which would happen in a Metroid, uh, but until you get the charge beam and then you would charge up instead of repeatedly firing, but it doesn't happen here, which is interesting. Is that the Morph Ball? Oh no, it's the Switch. Okay. <laughs> I thought that might be the next upgrade, but it's, it's not. Not a whole lot of places you can go at the very beginning, which is part of the course for this kind of game. You an upgrade? That's an upgrade! What did I just get? Nova. Firing once launches a large projectile. Firing again causes detonate. Select by tilting the right stick. Oh, I see. Interesting. Okay, so that gives me probably a better weapon. I'm guessing it will do more damage as well. Maybe. Uh, about the same. Oh, I need the Nova to go back this way because I can shoot up there and it'll boop the switch. Yeah, okay. Not quite sure what I'm intended to do with it. I hope you're much the safe one heals you. That does not happen in Metroid. There's a separate thing for healing. Uh, but I haven't seen one of those yet, so I'm hoping it's just the save point you need to use. I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh. I cannot wait to get at least one energy tank. <laughs> I'm getting the vibe my character in this game is not a cute girl, but I could be pleasantly surprised. So... <laughs> Never know. Oh, I can go that way now. Right, because I have the Nova. Ow. I'm gonna go back to the save point just to save, basically. Anything over here? Oh, I can go this way as well. I wonder if there's a reason to use my regular weapon, given that this one seems to be better. First I wanna like spam shot to be a bit easier to use the other one because it still shoots if you press the button again. Aha, save point. That does heal you. Okay, cool. That is very helpful. <laughs> I think over here. Oh, music change. Like a cutscene? No? Just just walk through? Oh, this is a boss. Hello. Crap, I'm trapped. Demon. Whoa, hey, you can talk. Uh, listen, I'm uh, lost and... Demon. Ath Athatos say. Kill. I assume this boss is not very strong because it is the first one in the game. And my equipment is currently not very good. Usually the standard deal in that situation is to have a pretty weak boss. I don't know if you get missiles in this game, uh, or something akin to missiles, but like, I don't have them yet. And normally you would have them by the time you fight a boss, so...
Oh no! Hmm, that animation suggests maybe I'm being like cloned back into existence or something? Ah, what just happened? You died. We saved your mind machines. What? I'm, I'm sorry, miss. I think, I hope I'm misunderstanding something. Could you try rephrasing that? Hello? Oh man, this is insane. I died? Am I still me? Okay, so respawning is canon in this game, uh, which is interesting. Because that's not really the case in Metroids or Castlevanians. Like, you reload from a save, but it doesn't acknowledge the fact that you died. Like this game apparently does. I guess I'll try to do the boss again? I don't know if I need to get, like, a different weapon or something first. It's doing the I got damaged animation with the static, so I assume I'm able to kill it with what I've got, but I'm having a little trouble. Ah! Hmm. I could look around and see if there's another way I can go. But there may be like a way to get, like, a health upgrade before I start. Or maybe a different weapon that does more damage, I don't know. I haven't been this way yet. Okay, I can see something I want over there, but I'm guessing, yeah, I can't break these. My guess is I need to do the boss and not mess it up, but... Possible there's something else I'm supposed to do first. Okay, I'm going in with, with full health, which will probably help a bit. Didn't take any hits on the way. Okay. <laughs> Just took a few tries. Onwards. Uh, we got a new upgrade of some kind. Laser drill. A high-powered drill capable of cutting through rock. Better? Oh, I see. Interesting.
There's something. Power note. Permanently increases weapon and item damage. Oh, neat. Save. Do this way. We haven't got a Metroid style mobility upgrade yet. I suppose it doesn't want to be exactly the same game. <laughs> Size no. Projectile size for weapons. Oh, neat! I like that. already, but I forget what was over here. Oh, we might be able to go this way now, because we have the drill. Nova over there. I probably want to head down. Oh, you put little reminders on the map. That's nice. I probably want to head down to the bottom part. You can see there's a room to the right from like the vertical bit there. It's a, it's a little hard to show on the camera because there's no like cursor or anything, but yeah. Okay. 
Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Get over. Yeah, there's something up here. Find out what this is. These guys don't seem to be too much of a threat, they just sort of move up and down. Something up there. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. What is it? What do we got? Multi disruptor. Files three projectiles at a time. Oh, nice. Okay. I like it. Uh, that's kind of like the Spazer in Super Metroid or the Wide Beam in uh, Zero Mission, which both basically do that same thing. Uh, I can't go that way, but I've got a new weapon, which is nice. I assume there'll be like doors that I actually need this ability to open. Could be wrong. It's possible it's just for combat. Shooting straight down is a little annoying. Uh... When you land, you stop shooting down. You have to jump and then do it in mid-air only, basically. Nothing over there? Okay. Oh, this thing doesn't have much range, actually. Interesting. Oh, dead now. Thank goodness I can respawn. I really do need more health. I've only got this one little energy bar. The weapons are numbered, so I'm guessing you can switch between them with the number keys if you're playing with a keyboard, but like it's it's a it's a Metroidvania, I wanna play it with the controller. Okay, yeah, we probably want to go back that way. I'm going to get something that can clear that interference and let me go that way, but nothing yet. Uh, I'll need something that can go through here. Possible the disruptor can. Doesn't seem to. Sorry, multi disruptor. The regular weapon is called the axiom disruptor. Being near the static actually puts static in the music, which is really interesting. I like that. And like, when you hit an enemy, they turn into static as well. There's definitely a bit of a vibe going on here. Oop! Uh, I can't jump that high. I assume I need to come back here later once I have some new abilities. Upgrade. Yep, upgrade. What do we got here? 
health now. <gasps> health, yes. Oh, I have three blips of health now. Oh, very good. Not quite as good as the ones in Metroid. Um, in Metroid, you have like 99 energy and every energy tank gives you another 100. Uh, here, I've got about half half of my starting energy added, so not as good. <laughs> Still good to have, though. I do like using this thing to clear through, uh, like, obstacles and stuff. It's very quick. Definitely quicker than, like, multiple bombs, for example. I can say that's like a little health node, maybe? I'm not sure if I can get up there. I have a feeling I can't with my current abilities. Yeah, I have to come back here later. zone? Absu. Yeah, we were in Erebu, we're now in Absu. Save room. Possibly with something hidden at the top, because I can't actually get up, get any higher than this. And the room is taller. I am really looking forward to a jump upgrade. Mushrooms? Yeah, I can stick I can stand on the mushrooms, they're not a threat. Um Maybe able to shoot through the wall to hit that? Hmm. I guess eventually I'll get something like wave beam to let me do that, but I don't have it yet. Also, the uh, low health noise is very annoying. I haven't really seen an easy way to replenish your supplies yet. Uh, again, in Metroid, there are often little holes that in, like tiny enemies infinitely spawn out of and you just sort of stand there and shoot them and that gives you a lot of health pickups and things kind of a standard way of playing Ooh, now that's interesting it's like glitch textures are we playing a game that's aware it's a game and that's sort of there's some sort of game thing happening that would be neat uh it also might just be like how they're representing reality being corrupted or something but either way either way it's cool <laughs> what have we here oh none of these guys yeah, I just want to shoot them as quickly as possible, like that. Uh, also here. The shame Metroid conventionally doesn't tell you what the enemies are called in the game. Uh, Castlevania does. When you attack them, it shows their name. But in this one, uh, it seems to be taking more of a cue from Metroid, which doesn't. So I don't know what all these enemies are called. <laughs> I haven't really noticed anything I would need a morph ball for, which is interesting. I guess I, can, I guess I can just crawl out of the box, so it just might not be necessary, but... Like, I haven't seen any, like, low passages that I would need to crawl through. Uh, some deadly donuts. Watch out for those. I'm guessing I can't get through there yet. Yeah. Might need 
some sort of wave beam so I can hit the switch on the other side, or I might need to come from the other side and do something on the other side. Not sure how much damage this does, but it's nice to be able to sort of hit things continuously rather than shoot at them. I get the vibe it doesn't do a lot of damage compared to regular attacks. Actually, that, that, that's a thought. Um, oh, I was going to check um, the sound settings and see if the metallic ping is the low health noise, but I can't get to the sound settings during the game apparently, so I won't. <laughs> This is relatively quiet when you're just jumping around. It's not like an intrusive sound particularly. Oops. The weapon switching is a little bit strange. I, I assume I'll get used to it, but so far it's a bit weird. Uh, okay, so I'm sort of mapping the area out a bit here in my head and also in the game. The two places. <laughs> Like, the actual game map is getting populated, but also I'm understanding how things connect to each other, if that makes sense. Uh, I can't do anything in this room apart from potentially die, so I'm just gonna go back down the pipe. Yeah, I can't keep going that way because of the glitch. I'm going to go probably down here. And then probably just further down this room. I hit the first door. Which led back to the area I was in to start with. But if I keep going down, maybe there's something else to find. Yeah, it gets all metal-y. I wonder if this game has map rooms or if you're just meant to find things manually. Oh, uh, this is like the, the main marketing image. Is this space? So I assume this is quite important. Face. My name is Ellis Nova. El Elsa Nova? Are you the voice I've been hearing? Yes, we are connected through Mind Machine. I need you to fix Power Filter. I'm dying. Power Filter? Uh, I guess I can try. Where is it? Not near. I'm sorry. I need rest now. Bye. Hey, wait. Where are we? This is definitely not good. Oh, upgrade. Silver. Fire the short range burst of electricity. Neat. Yeah, it goes through walls. Neat. I like it. Not great for taking out enemies. Talking to Elsa Nova counts as a respawn. No, it doesn't. Well, I can hit things on the other side of gates now because the electricity burst goes through them, so I can get to a few more things than I could before, which is nice. I think some sort of upgrade just here? Yes. And I can reach that now if I use my new weapon.
health node fragment. Oh, it's, that's why it's little. Okay. So this game has heart pieces, basically. Interesting. Uh, Metroid conventionally only has entire energy tanks. Uh, and you would get basically missile tanks instead, where you would find a heart piece in, like, a Zelda. Uh, but this game hasn't had anything with limited ammo yet, so I don't know if it's going to have a missile tank style thing. The way missiles work in Metroid, uh, they're one of the first upgrades you get, but missiles are li a limited resource, you have to collect more of them. And you get missile tanks to let you carry more. Uh, I mean, they're an unlimited resource, you can always get more of them, you can only have a certain number with you at a time. <laughs> I don't know if I phrased that helpfully or not, but yeah. Is this another save room? It is, I had a feeling it might be. Uh, again, I can't see what's up there, which is annoying. I feel like I should be able to walk past those pillars. You can't, but it, I get the vibe that you should, should be able to. Thank you. <laughs> okay, then we need to switch back to the kill bus so we can blast the door open like this. Ah, I was hoping to not set them off, but I, I guess I did it anyway. I see something green there, which I'm curious about. Just reset the enemies. Doesn't work that way. <laughs> I assumed if I left the room, the enemies would reset, but apparently they don't. Oh god, they're so fast. Oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh my goodness. Game saved. It's at least relatively generous about, like, respawning. It keeps the rooms you've been to mapped. Uh, rather than reloading your save, for example. I imagine if I got an item, like a new weapon or whatever, I would still keep it if I died. I don't know that for sure yet, because it hasn't, like, happened in a context. Oh no, maybe it did with the Kilver. And yeah, I kept it, so yeah. If you die, you keep, you keep your upgrades that you've gotten, which is not the case in games like Metroid. So there's something green just there. I don't know if I can get in to get it, or what's happening. I might need like a new upgrade or something that lets me reach it, but there's clearly something there, so I'm curious about what it might be. <laughs> it's kind of stand in you, so it's harder to shoot them. It's very annoying. <laughs> So we've got a bunch of skeletons down there. There's also a door downwards and a door upwards. So let's try this one. Uh, yeah, that's that's more skeletons. A lot more skeletons. Uh, I can't reach that square on the map. I'm, gu I'm guessing I'll be able to once I get some sort of upgrade, but... The way you um, equip different weapons reminds me of Super Metroid in particular. In most Metroids, like, your upgrades just sort of stack on top of each other, but in Super Metroid, you can equip and unequip all the beams you've found. Uh, and some of them actually can't work together, so you do need to do that if you want to have access to all their abilities. Or you can use the glitch to make them work together, but that completely breaks the game and it's very funny. It's called the space-time beam because it actually, like, breaks the game backwards in time and resets save data and stuff. It's... it's pretty wild. 
<laughs> yep, I'd love to save. Uh, still can't reach the top of the room, but I don't think there's a whole lot up there. I think a red door means boss, so... Yeah, you go into the room and it starts dark and then there's like a growl. Oh crap, an even bigger one. Demon. Look, I mean no harm. Please, can we just talk it out? Talk. Yeah, okay. So, my name is Trace, and I have no idea how I got here, but... Demon, Athatos say, kill. Have it your way, then. There's uh, more dialogue in this game than there would conventionally be in a Metroid. <laughs> With the exception of Metroid Fusion, which had a lot of talking from your computer, uh, there's not usually dialogue in a Metroid. <laughs> I guess Metroid Prime too, and um, Metroid Dread as well actually. They've kind of moved towards having more dialogue from the computer giving you hints about what you should be doing. The older games, not so much. Where's the weak point on this thing? I don't know where I'm supposed to be shooting. Ow. Hmm. Well, that's how this kind of this kind of game works, you know. You figure out what the patterns are by trying the boss a couple times. Mm. Looks like this symbol appears in the room for bosses as well. I don't know if that's relevant. It's a little hole in the middle? No? Where is the weak point on this thing? Gotta have one, right? Maybe it's at the top? Aha! Yeah, it's turning sort of yellow instead of green, so it, you can tell it's getting hurt. Ow. Oh, you can use the bubbles as kind of a shield. That's handy. Thanks, bubbles. Ah. Okay, well, I know how to attack it now, so I should be alright. Okay, yeah, it's not that tricky once you figure out the pattern. Ow. 
course that was going to happen as soon as I said that it wasn't tricky. Ow. Ah. <laughs> oh. It's another shot. <laughs> The game plays very well. I'm not sure if you can tell because I kind of suck at this game, like this kind of game, but like the controls are very tight. It, uh, Trace isn't really doing things I don't want them to. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got an achievement for beating that. It's called Talal, so I guess the boss's name was Talal. <laughs> uh, that's two bosses down, though, which is cool. Uh, I assume I'll get an upgrade for doing that. Or well, maybe I won't? I don't know. Yep, that's an upgrade. What is it? Address Disruptor. Corrupts or decorrupts weaker blocks and enemies. Interesting. Not sure what I can... I assume there's a way I can use it here to get out of this bit. Otherwise I'm going to be stuck here. Kinda stuck. Um, doesn't seem to be having any effect, which is a bit confusing. Oh, oh, oh! Hang on, I get it. I get it. Come up here. See how these ones look a bit different? Yeah, I can turn them into platforms. And that means I can clear the corruption elsewhere now that I have the disruptor, which will let me get into other parts of the game. Yeah, we can convert these enemies into... Oh, are they enemies or like bubbles? I can convert them is the point. Uh, which lets me ride my way up. And go this way. Or potentially that way, but that's where I came from, so go this way. Uh, nothing we can do here yet. Nothing there to corrupt. We can go this way though. Health? Health for me? The health? Yes, health nerd, yes. Oh, good stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, that is interesting. Uh 
like I've turned it into like a, a game destroying glitch, basically. I can go down here if I want. Upgrade? Oh, another size node. Awesome. Oh, yeah, check that out. That's way cooler. <laughs> these guys, what happens to them? They also turn into planet game destroyers, or they just look different? They don't seem to be destroying anything, so they probably just look different. What about these mushrooms? Nothing? Right. Oh, there's somewhere I might need a morph ball. Try going this way. I'm not really sure what the intended like path is, but I'm just gonna keep walking around and see what I find. Oh! Grace, turn back. This place is artifact. Like some kind of dimensional rift? What if there's something I need in here? No, it is dangerous. Flotsam, jetsam, caused by breach. Is there radiation or something in here? Well, it's not exactly reassuring. What was these guys in here? I hate these guys. So when I regain health, it's like purple instead of regular health? Or maybe I'm just not regaining it? I don't know. No, I can't get past here. I can corrupt my past it. Doesn't look like it. Can make some platforms. I can go up this way. An advantage? It doesn't look like it. Sure what I'm supposed to do in there. Boss wise can't do anything yet, I suppose. hit that from all the way over here. My uh, thing that goes through walls is like short range. Oh, you can stand on these. Okay. So they help you go different places. Oh, upgrade. I love those. Is it a damage upgrade? Because that would be quite good. 
Power node. Yeah, it is. Excellent. I guess this is, like, the third zone? Where are we now? We are in Z. Apparently. Well, these are gonna be annoying, aren't they? Yeah, these are gonna be annoying. I do need to go back and check all the corrupted areas I couldn't get into before in the first two areas. But I can also go this way, so I'm curious to see what, what I get if I go this way. It's like a little flower there? I didn't do a whole lot. Oh, that's cute. Those uh, little rotating things look exactly like a Samus in a Moth Ball. So, like, that's a deliberate reference. It's gotta be. It's been about an hour. Uh... I'm really enjoying this, uh... I do wish my character were more obviously a cute girl, because I feel like it's an important part of the genre. <laughs> uh... That's a bit of a shame. Uh, there's something up there, but I don't think I can get it high enough to reach it. Uh, so I can decorrupt it, right? No. Doesn't seem to be affected. Maybe it's too corrupted and I need, like, an upgrade or something? Ah! I don't love the enemies sort of just get stuck in you, uh, and wait for your mercy and vulnerability to run out. That's a bit rude. Ah! Yeah, that was gonna happen. Alright, um, well, I played for about an hour. Uh, Axiom Verge is really, really fun. Uh, I definitely would like my character to be a bit cuter. I don't know if there's, like, ways to do that, or if that just wasn't a priority when making the game. Which would be fair, honestly. Notes? Oh, I guess I can find, just, like, maybe notes from other characters or something? My four weapons, I've got a couple upgrades. And power-ups. Oh, I see, I've got three separate sections. I can press X for instructions? Yeah, you can reread this stuff. Oh, I see, and I'm installing my extra weapons into the Axiom Disruptor. Oh. <sighs> well, yeah, um, that's Axiom Verge. <laughs> it's really, really fun. Uh, I don't think it's too difficult. It did take me a couple tries for each boss, but that's like half of the course, if that makes sense. That's just sort of the normal thing you would do in this kind of game. I have a couple tries to figure out what the boss is doing. It's over here. Ah, oh, I can just climb up here. Is there a reason to? Is there something up here?
Oh, it's like a shortcut. I can just get past all of that stuff. Neat. You can't duck in that hole to dodge it. I think that's what the hole was for, but apparently not. Ah. I'm probably going to wrap up the video here. Um. So yeah, this Axiom Verge. It's a it's a very Metroidy Metroidvania. Uh, with some really interesting mechanics. I really like. The fact that you can glitch the game as one of your abilities, that's that's just that's just a kind of thing that really vibes with my aesthetic. <laughs> uh, I don't know what else there's gonna, what other abilities you're gonna get, because you know, you discover them as you play the game, so I don't really know what where this is gonna go, but I really like what I've got so far and I'm having a lot of fun with it, so that's cool. Clue how to beat that guy without taking a bunch of hits. But these guys, you can just lure them from like outside their range and do damage pretty easily. Yeah, that's much easier. Because they don't go off of their little track. You're not going to have too much trouble. Uh, another one of these guys. Go away! Okay, made it through the room. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on in this one. Hmm. Really nice music, by the way. I think I've already mentioned that. Uh, hello. Another one of these? Hello, miss. Are you awake? Trace, that is Veruska. She is in great need of repair drones. He is very dangerous. It is our ally. Dangerous? I mean, I figured you were sort of network supercomputers or something. No, our word is Rusalki. It is like water machine? We have all been damaged. The situation you see is emergency. If you can enable repair drones, it will greatly help. But just the power filter isn't enough? That is bare minimum for survival. Okay, hang in there. Whatever you are, I'm not going to let you die without a fight. Thank you. Can I progress from this room, or do I need to go back? I think I need to go back. Platforming's a little something. <laughs> I assume it gets better once I have better abilities for jumping, like you know, a double jump or uh, wh whatever it is that this game gives you. It might be a double jump. 
Those guys have become a bit easier to deal with, which is nice. I don't... I don't love fighting them. Yeah, they're faster than me, which is not great. And yeah, if an enemy gets stuck in you, uh, it's a little tricky to deal with, which is not ideal. Can I get up there? No, it's too high. I'm, I'm probably gonna get a jump soon, given I'm seeing a lot of stuff I can't reach with without, um, extra height. Maybe a jump, maybe... It, it might be something like a space jump, where you get to jump in midair, or it might be, like, a regular double jump. Or... Hmm, what else? Or it might be, like, something like Invert, where you can flip the world upside down and walk on the ceiling. That would be cool, too. So I can break these. Do I want to? Oh, they come back anyway. I suppose it's not really worth doing then. I'm guessing the red bubbles hurt me. I haven't been hit well in yet, but yes, they do. Oh, no, they don't. What? <laughs> I thought they did. Maybe they're there to help you get more pickups or something? Okay, we can get another zone over there. But over there, there's something too. Can I get over there? Not with my current jump height. I suppose I should be wrapping up the video since I've said I'm ending it like twice now. But I just want to see what the next zone is called at least. That's some interesting music. Incur? Oh no! <laughs> oh no, these guys have gotten suddenly a lot more threatening. So is that the, uh, Riselki singing? Was that what it was? R Ris the, the, the face people, the, the big, big people. <laughs> I can't words. But yeah, is, is it them singing in this song? Yes, please. Oh no, I can't reach it. It's too glitchy. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I should be wrapping up the video. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, but yeah, this game is real fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> the music here is really interesting. I am vibing. I assume I don't want to touch the pink stuff. Oh god. These guys do so much damage. Oh no! <laughs> oh dear. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up there. Back to the save point. So yeah, uh, that's Axiom Verge. Released 2015, so the game's been around for a while, but I just haven't played it yet. I like it. Uh, if this looks like the kind of game you'd like, definitely check it out. Axiom Verge 2 is coming soon as well, so, like, presumably it will be the same sort of cool thing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!